Uh, I'm going to introduce some hi-hat rules. Common kind of step in the producer journey is... I just love the bounce on this one. So what I'm going to do is just load up a template. As you can see, I have a bunch of sounds that I typically use or that are easy to just swap out without me starting from scratch and having to find everything and load all those effects and plugins. As you can see, like I've already routed them to certain buses that just have like distortion, reverb, things like that. So this can just save you a lot of time. Make sure you're using templates because you'll find yourself using a lot of the same effects, plugins, uh, instruments, repeatedly if you're making a lot of beats. So anyway, let's get to it. So as I mentioned, the samples from my previous pack is called Signatures, and this is pretty much just about what you'd have if you download it. So again, I'm just gonna click and drag that in. And as you can see, I put the tempo, so it's 138. I'll just switch the project to that, and it's in B minor. So it's important to know, obviously you want all your drums to be in key, not just the melody. So let's listen to it. Guitar. Right. So don't mind this. I always have this like two step pattern just saved again because it just saves me time. So. so normally what I'll do is just drag this simple two step pattern in. I'm definitely going to end up editing it and changing the hi hat sounds and stuff. Claps are pretty common to keep, but um, yeah, let's just get to it. So I'm probably gonna leave the intro without drums, but just for the sake of getting a drum loop down, I'm gonna do that and then we can start arranging after. This has sort of been my current process for how I program my drums. Maybe add a bit of delay. I've got on bus nine. I'm already liking that more. I think I'm gonna go with a rim rather than a clap. See what we got. Whoa, I kinda like that. So I'm gonna see if I can layer that rim with another one a bit that sounds high. I still don't like the hi-hat. I think I'm gonna go back to another two-step pattern and change the hi-hat. See what we can get. Cool, I like that. Mmm, yeah, that's the bounce. That's the bounce I'm looking for. And then we'll add some rolls and man, I'm already excited for this. I'm just gonna keep that at the end as a fill. So just call it snare fill. Now I like to keep all my tracks organized. Um, yeah, it's just super helpful. So please name your things or don't. Oh, now I think I might use this sound and layer it. Just rename that. And. So this open hat, just a bit of delay. And I'm gonna get a second open hat. Uh, hmm. bit softer.
I like. wasn't actually what I was going for and I might end up deleting that but Actually, I'm going to get rid of that last. Okay, oh, and, and, how about we save? Um, okay, so this is called Signature, so I'll just put the date, 15 May, Signature, oops. Don't ask me about names, guys, um, because I'm really bad at coming up with them. Um, I can make four beats, but ask me name something and I just get completely lost. Anyway, so I think we're almost done with the main pattern. Mm, classic Spins 808, you can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. Right, I'm gonna record something and then I'll probably edit. And just pro tip guys, I mean, this isn't too drastic. When you have notes that are in a, like a higher range or say an octave up, I would normally just lower the velocity a little bit because they're always gonna come across a lot louder and sharper. So these notes here are gonna sound a lot louder than the lower, more muffled sounding notes. So yeah, I just usually turn that down a bit. And then this is kind of an accent note into it. So, because I'm a drummer, I sort of know which notes make sense to lower the velocity on. So yeah, you'll see what I mean. One more thing is I've tried to be a lot more repetitive in my beats, if that makes sense. To not overcomplicate patterns. Um, I feel like it's a common kind of step in the producer journey is just learning how to simplify because ironically, I think it's one of the hardest things to do. There's such a tendency to just want to spam a bunch of notes that are unnecessary, so. Oh, I like that. Okay, so here, bef that is obviously going to be the verse section. I'm going to move that. And yeah, if you guys haven't messed with samples for, this is kind of the beauty of it, is it's super simple to just arrange rather than having a bunch of tracks. Um, I really went in on producing like just over a year ago. I've been producing longer than that, but or like beat making, I guess, just for myself. I'm not gonna get into that whole debate, beat makers versus producers, but for the longest time, I'd just been doing all my melody tracks and drums in one project, and I would have like friggin' t like 20 plus tracks a lot of the time. And I just find it so much easier now, focusing on melodies in one project and then focusing on drums in another. So give that one a go, guys, if you aren't already doing it.
so I've got an idea here and I like doing this so what I'm going to do is cut this drum loop here I'm going to bounce that, I'm just going to call it drum texture and what I'm going to do is throw half time on this um, you've probably heard this kind of thing before especially in like Travis Scott type beats um, I mean, there's a lot of producers that use half time obviously but yeah it's just something like this, I've actually got a preset here yeah it's just yeah yeah I kind of like that and then I'm, I'm just going to throw on some reverb And if you're wondering why I have all these tempos saved, they're basically presets, it's a formula. So I have a previous video, it's about one or two videos ago, um, where I actually spoke about the perfect formula for reverb tail. So you can go check that one out if you want. Just a little bit of variation. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's better. Cool. And honestly, guys, that's pretty much the beat because I think what we can do is honestly just repeat it. Um, now, I probably make some variations, but you guys basically heard the beat. So I'm going to play it all in full now and you can listen to it and let me know what you think. Do all that cool stuff. You can comment, like, And yeah, so if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. You can always comment as well. Give me some suggestions as to what you'd want to see or if you have any questions or just let me know what you thought about this beat or if you even want this beat, I can always send it to you if you're a rapper, an artist. Um, and then lastly, if you want the sample or you want other samples like this, you can get my free sample pack. It's down below. I've put the link in the description. Um, I've only made a couple so far, but I'm trying to make one for almost every week probably every other week so yeah and they'll be completely free for now i'm gonna start charging for the sample pack soon but i'm talking like five dollars ten dollars i think i'm just gonna up it over time so um yeah enjoy the free packs whilst they're there guys and lastly tag me in your beats if you do use any of them um if you do use any of the samples obviously it's just a 50 50 split so on beat stars you can just put blue infinity uh, but yeah guys enough talking i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>